Hi everyone this is Sandeep Sharma as electronics and in this video we are going to discuss about simple calculator using tickle tk this video will be for all the beginners who want to get started with tickle tk let's begin we will have a quick introduction to tickle first then i will tell you how to install it where to install it i will be describing all the steps one by one then we will look into widgets then i will tell you how i have coded the simple calculator using tickle tk I will be showing you all the bits and images of my calculator and then finally we will have a quick demo. Let me give you a quick introduction to Tickle TK. Tickle, which is the short form for tool command language, is a combination of a scripting language and its own interpreter that gets embedded to the application we develop with it. Tickle was developed initially for Unix but then it was ported to Windows, DOS, Mac OS and some more. Tickle is much similar to the other Unix shell languages like Bone Shell, C Shell, Corn Shell, and Perl. This aims at providing ability for programs to interact with other programs and also for acting as an embeddable interpreter. Even though the original aim was to enable programs to interact, you can also find full fledged applications written in Tickle. TK. Tickle has many features like reduced development time, powerful and simple user interface kit with the integration of TK. We can write the code once and we can run it anywhere on any operating system like Windows, Mac OS or Unix platform. It is quite easy to get started with since the language is so simple that they can learn this language in a few hours or days. We can easily extend existing applications with Tickle and also it is possible to include Tickle in C, C++, Java or vice versa. It has a powerful set of networking functions and finally it's an open source free and can be used for commercial applications without any limit. Applications that are made using Tickle include scalable websites, high performance web servers, CGI based websites, desktop GUI applications and embedded applications and there are many more which you can find on internet. TK refers to toolkit and it provides cross platform GUI widgets which helps you in building a graphical user interface. It was developed as an extension to Tickle scripting language. It is also an open source language. It provides high level of extendability. It is customizable, configurable. It provides a large number of widgets, which we can use to build our own widgets. It can be used with other dynamic languages and not just Tickle. And GUI looks identical across platforms, across operating systems. There are many applications which are built using TK, like dashboard, software user interface, forms, GUI for relational database, ad hoc GUI for relational database, software hardware system design, task management softwares, calendar apps, TK mail, TK debugger, and many more. If you want to learn more about Tickle TK, I have provided some links in the description. You can go through them and learn as per your wish. Let's get started with installation of TK and Tickle. So Tickle Interpreter is basically a small program that enables you to type Tickle commands and have them executed line by line. It stops execution of a Tickle file in case it encounters an error. So for downloading Tickle Interpreter, we need to head over to Active State's website whose link I have given in the description from where you can download the Active Tickle installer and open it up. Click on next and accept the license agreement. Now you can choose where to install everything and then click on next to begin installing. Your software, your interpreter will be installed. You can open it and get started with coding. The basic component of a TK based application is called a widget. TK is a package that provides a rich set of graphical components for creating graphical applications with Tickle. TK provides a range of widgets which are very configurable. TK applications follow a widget hierarchy where any number of widgets may be placed within another widget and those widgets within another widget and so on. The main widget in a TK program is referred to as the root widget and can be created by making a new instance of the TK root class. Some basic widgets in TK are label for displaying single line of text button which is a clickable widget and triggers an action when clicked. Entry widget used to accept a single line of text as input. Message widget for displaying multiple lines of text text widget for displaying and optionally editing multiple lines of text and top level which is a window with all borders and decorations provided by the window manager. We also have layout widgets which are frame, place, pack and grid. These layout widgets are used to place other widgets on screen. Some other widgets are selection widgets like radio button, check button, menu, 
list box. We will be using some of the mentioned widgets in our simple calculator. So let's begin coding our simple calculator. First we will code the main window of simple calculator and set its position on the screen. As shown in the figure, first we will specify title bar, then we will set height and width of the window, then set its position on screen. This is how it will look on our computer screen. Now we need a layout widget to hold all the other widgets in our calculator. We will be using frame to hold all the other widgets. First we specify frame and its properties. Then we place it in the main window using grid manager. Next we will place text widget for displaying numbers. For that we specify the text widget and its properties. Then place it inside frame in main window using grid manager. This is how it will look when you will run the program and the main window appears on your computer screen. Now we need some buttons for our calculator. For that declare a variable specifying all the buttons. This will be a list containing all the buttons row wise. Then specify all the buttons one by one or through loop as per your convenience and place each of them inside frame in main window using grid manager. Then we need to align widget properly with respect to the main window and frame. For that we have row config and column config for both the grids that we have defined so far. For aligning frame we need to use dot which refers to the main window the root class of our program. For aligning all the other widgets inside frame we will use dot fr which is the widget name for frame. Every proper widget has menus and commands associated with those menus. And that's why we will be adding file menu and font menu to our calculator. Inside file menu we will be having an exit command and in font menu we will be having size, type and color which will change the size, type and color respectively of the text displayed in the text widget. As shown in the figure this is how we will be coding the menu bars. Whenever any command is invoked from those menus the associated command will be executed. For size, font size proc or procedure will be called. For type, font type will be called and for color, font color procedure will be called. Which we will be discussing in next few slides. Till now we have only made the skeleton of our calculator. We need to add proper functionality to all the widgets in our calculator. Shown here are some examples of how we can code all the buttons. We need to code all the numbers then all the clear backspace and close buttons along with all the operators and equal to button. As discussed earlier, specific procedures will be called based on what option are we choosing from the font menu. For font size, font size proc will be called which is as described here. This is not the whole procedure but just to get the gist of it, I have pasted a screenshot of the same. Similarly for font type, font type procedure will be called and for font color, this whole procedure will be called. We will be needing one more widget called font widget which will describe and create all the fonts needed to make the settings of font used in text widget as well as all the button headings. We will create button font, display font and text type review font. Text type review font will be used in font type proc. Button font will be used for buttons and display font will be used in text widget to display numbers. Now after coding the whole calculator with its functionality and its appearance we will need a standalone executable which when clicked will open our calculator directly. So for that the steps are as follows. First we need to download ticklekit.x and stx.kit and then bring them to your working directory. And the link has been given in the description for downloading both of these. Then we need to make a copy of ticklekit.x into the directory where your tickle source code file is and name it ticklekit2.x. Then in the command line type the command one by one. After typing all these commands you will get your calculator.x ready. Now I will be giving a demo on how to download active state tickle interpreter. Then opening it and coding the whole calculator including functionality as well as the appearance. Then I will also give a demo on how to make a standalone executable for our calculator. Let's begin. When you first click on active state Komodo IDE, this is how it will look. For creating a new project, click on new project. Choose the name of the file. Select the location where you will be storing it. Then we need to select the language in which we will be coding. 
for our project as discussed earlier we will be using tickle now click on create you should see all done message in on your screen then click on open project you can then make multiple files and you can then put your code in each of them as i have already made the whole calculator these are the files that i have used here is the main file calculator.tickle which contains all the main widgets that we have used this is button func.tickle containing all the buttons descriptions and the functionality of buttons next is display procs.tickle it contains all the procs for our font menu finally we have fonts.tickle which contains all the font definitions let's click on run click on okay and we will get our calculator let's type some random things and check if it is working properly okay it's working fine so far i think we are good to go from font menu let's select font size we can increase or decrease the font size minimum is 10 and maximum font size that you can go is 150 let's click on type click the font type now let's select underline and italics we can see the preview here I have made two buttons. Okay, and exit. Click on OK to accept the changes. Let's use bold and not italics. And change the font type again. Click on OK. As you can see, the font type has changed in the text widget. Let's select some other color. Okay so it has become blue Let's change the color again okay So everything is working fine let's test this out once more Okay now let's close our calculator we can close from file or we can choose close button or we can also click on close Now we need to make an executable. First, we will need to download ticklekit.x and sdx.kit from the website that I have given in the description. Click on these links and download will start automatically. Now we have to copy both of them to our working directory. Extract this. We will get ticklekit.x. Let's change the name of this application to something simple. Let's change the name of STX also. Copy ticklekit dot x and rename it to ticklekit dot two dot x. From the command line, move to the working directory. Now we need to type the commands one by one. you will see this message when it is executed successfully now the second command it has been executed successfully this folder will be created where you can place all your libraries and all the required binaries in my case there is no requirement of any library so let's move on to the third command press enter it's done exit the command line you will see calculator.x in your working directory let's click on it and test it out
everything is working perfectly now let's close calculator that was all in the demo i hope you liked how we made our calculator integral and i believe you have learned something from this presentation thank you all for giving your time and please don't forget to like subscribe and press the bell icon also don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section have a nice day guys thank you